Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory YouTube channel. This video discusses collection and submission of swabs. Submitting swabs for diagnostic testing is an important part of many case workups. Swabs may be collected for bacterial culture, fungal culture, or PCR testing. Swabs are easy to collect from a variety of cases. There are, however, several limitations to this type of sample. One, only pathogens that are located on the surface of the lesion are easily collected. Also, depending on the location, it can be difficult to avoid sampling normal flora or contaminant bacteria. Keep in mind that swabs should not be submitted in cases where bacterial counts are desired, such as urine or milk cultures. So, whenever possible, the collection of the affected tissue or fluid to be tested is preferable. Before collecting a swab, consideration should be given to what test will be ordered so an appropriate swab and transport media can be selected. There are many commercially available transport systems. They supply both a swab and the transport media. These supplies are designed to be used together. The type of swab used to collect a sample is important. For example, wooden shafted cotton tip swabs should not be submitted as they may produce false negative results. The pathogens tend to remain adhered to the cotton fibers. Guarded swabs are useful for sampling areas that must be accessed through an area that contains a lot of normal flora. Examples include pre-breeding culture of a mare's uterus and deep nasopharyngeal swabs in cases of bovine respiratory disease. After the unit has been passed to the area you want to sample, the swab is extended out of the guard and the sample collected. The swab is then drawn back into the guard and the entire unit withdrawn. This system allows for sampling a specific area without contamination from the surrounding areas. If a guarded swab is used, it should not be capped after collection. Rather, the swab should be removed from the guard and placed in the appropriate media. The media or container the swab will be shipped in is also an important consideration. There are a number of different types of media available. However, not every type of media is appropriate for every test. Viral transport media is a liquid media that is designed to enhance the survivability of viruses. It also provides specialized conditions needed for the bacteria listed. This media contains antibiotics that inhibit the growth of some bacteria that would otherwise overgrow the plate, making collection of slow-growing bacteria impossible. However, these antibiotics also make it unsuitable for routine bacterial culture. Viral transport media is an excellent choice for swabs submitted for PCR testing, both for bacterial and for viral pathogens. Swabs in gel-based media can be used for both aerobic and anaerobic culture. However, they cannot be used for PCR testing. Swabs in liquid Amy's media can be used for both PCR testing and bacterial cultures. The swab is used to streak plates for culture, and the liquid media is used for PCR testing. This has become the media of choice in our laboratory. Swabs may also be submitted in a sterile red top tube with a quarter to a half an ml of sterile saline. This will prevent the swab from drying out while in transit to the laboratory. Swabs that are submitted dry or dry out while being shipped often do not contain any detectable pathogens. For locations that are easily accessible, collect your swab sample by gently but firmly rolling it across the lesion or area of interest. After placing the swab in the selected media, the swab shaft should be broken or cut to allow the cap to be replaced. Breaking the shaft is easy if it has already been scored at the appropriate length by the manufacturer. Alternatively, the swab may be cut at the desired length. Securely close the container with the swab inside. It is a good idea to keep swabs cool prior to shipment. For example, if you will be collecting multiple swabs at one time, it is a good idea to chill them immediately in a cooler with ice packs. Once you have collected all your swabs, wrap the containers of transport media in absorptive padding material. Place it in a Ziploc or Whirlpack bag. Swabs should be shipped on ice packs for overnight delivery. It is always a good idea to keep them cool prior to shipment. Please remember to include your completed submission form. Thank you for tuning into the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory YouTube channel. If you have questions about this video or any of our services, please visit us at www.ksvdl.org.